Don't do not look at the time. That's one hour ahead. That's not the actual. Okay. That doesn't make it much better. How's it going, everyone? Season 3 is finally out, like, officially. They were in their right mind and actually made the trophy system. I don't know if it's pre-unlocked or at, like, a certain level, but it's... You, you just get it now. Don't have to worry about some stupid grenade challenge. I low-key didn't expect them to add this, but they did actually do an anime skin. Good. Also, his calling card is actually absolute fire. I'm not buying it, though. I've never bought a bundle. You got... Wait, you got all these skins? What the... I had no idea about this. I was just chilling on, on the game, like grinding. I saw people using the skin. I was like, what the hell? They got tier 100 already? Which, by the way, this is what tier 100 looks like. Absolutely sick. But no, nah, I thought it was like a tier 100 skin. That's fire, though. I'm going to use that, actually. Hold up. I have nothing unlocked for this guy. They also had the M19, the Nikita AVT. I think those are the only weapons they added. Apparently, there are no takedowns which is weird. Aside from that though, this battle pass genuinely isn't that bad. Like it's, it's, it's far better than season two. Now they've completely dished all realism. They also have full double XP on. I did not know they enabled that. We're gonna have some Mayhem 24 seven. I did actually try this before recording and it was actually pretty fun. I really like this new map. It's still pretty chaotic, but not like ridiculous. Not like DOS house or ship house level. I'm grinding the PPSH now. Uh, I, I, I got some like hip fire challenge. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm still going solely for hip fires, even though I don't actually know if that challenge is like still a thing. I might have already completed that forever ago. Oh, Jesus. If you're wondering why Godzilla vs. Kong isn't enabled yet, uh, that's on May 11th, and I think only on Warzone. I don't think that's a Vanguard thing. You're already getting stuff for it. If you actually signed up for like a newsletter, I don't know if it's still a thing. But if you signed up for it, I just got it. You got like three free calling cards. This thing shreds. What the hell? I should put Gungo on this. They nerfed the snipers, but not this. This is still... Oh my god. To be fair though, I think the sniper nerf is only in Warzone, but still. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a Warzone sniper. I'm not a Warzone player, to be honest. I'm not good at Warzone. I am decently okay at multiplayer, like somewhat above average. I am not good at Warzone whatsoever. I'm below average by far. I don't play it that much. Usually when I get carried, I still somehow lose. Even when I win, I still feel like I'm losing. With that being said, I will probably record a Warzone video tomorrow. Oh yeah, the hipfire challenge was for the... Uh, What's it called? The Armaguera, whatever the hell. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to it. I've seen a lot of people using it and like a lot of footage of it being just like an absolute laser. I know it didn't come out this season, but I don't care. I had no idea it was a thing. Also, what the hell did they just do? What is that? I did some like weird back cop thing and it launched me. I'm try that again. Actually, well, I wasn't sprinting. I can't replicate it. The hell did I do? Maybe I just need to raise my sense. Feels like I have less control now that I'm playing at 60 FPS and still like 144 Hz. I, I own Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War on PC, but I own Vanguard on Xbox. It's a, a long, well, it's not really a long story. I just didn't have my PC on hand when I got it. I wanted to get Vanguard at launch, which I didn't. I got it five days after launch. Charlie, Intel, and Modern Warzone were saying it was a brilliant top five COD. I mean, what the hell? Why'd you say that? Yes, those tweets were the reason I bought the game. Was it worth it? I mean, kind of. At least I had the newest Call of Duty, right? Wow, I sound just like the FIFA player. Okay. Right, by the way, there was news that, like, NFL prospects and just, like, general sports people were playing Modern Warfare 2, or, like, like, demos of Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if they watched, like, gameplay, or they played the campaign, or they played the multiplayer. They played something of it, and they say it's pretty good. I doubt that can be that critical of games, obviously. Like, they're sports people. They're not video games people. They're not epic gamer dudes who play Call of Duty all day. They have lives. Man, if the casuals like a game, then usually it's pretty all right. One of them said it was like super realistic, which leads me to believe that they played the campaign, but it might it, it might have been the multiplayer. Who knows? I don't know. We're in like we're like teaser season right now, though. If all the leaks are correct, we might see something on April 30th, which is in three days. Or at this point, two. Honestly, I, why am I recording so late? Did they nerf the PPSH in Warzone? I mean, they probably did, but if they didn't, I mean, that's insane. I'm gonna have to start using it. That's like the only weapon I've ever consistently killed people with. And that's like when I picked up someone's loadout. On an unrelated note, they're rolling out the Overwatch 2 beta. I think that was like another way to get it. Like you just like signed up or something, but you can also just watch a streamer for four hours who play who's playing Overwatch and has drops enabled. And you then you'll just get access to it, which is exactly what I did. I had XUC stream open all day. Now I have access. I don't know if I'm going to record it. Friend Overisk also got it, so maybe. Like, who knows? I've only really heard good things about it. Obviously, people were, like, shitting on it at first, but I think that's just because everyone thought it was, like, $60. Truth is, the PvP is, like, a free upgrade. Now, PvE costs $60. PvP seems good, though, so uh, I don't care. I haven't touched Overwatch seriously since, like, 2017, and I was horrendous at the game. Actually, no, 2019. Whatever. Timeline's messed up. Don't worry about it. Something good about the game. I don't know if it's always done this. Because I don't think I ever really use Dead Silence. But every time you activate, it doesn't do anything until you kill someone. And then it, like, shifts your FOV and stuff. 
It's so weird. I don't know if it was always like that, but that's like a new thing. But I just thought I pointed it out since it's something I just discovered. I almost always use Ghost anyway, so I didn't really realize it. Sorry for the short video yesterday and honestly probably today. There's just not much really like video i guess probably make like a longer word zone video tomorrow just to like see if i can actually get good at it i mean overall review good i think the only bad thing about it i can really think about is the sniper nerf but that's about it aside from that this has been pretty fun i i'm, I'm enjoying this oh i need to show something hold up oh is it 267 oh no